Okay, so if the satellite is moving from west to east, which means it's moving in the same direction of the Earth, of the Earth self rotating. So the, rel the relative angular speed is equal to the angular speed of the satellite minus the angular speed of the Earth. And as we know from the problem, it's 1 over 12 revolution per hour. We know that the angular speed of the Earth is 1 over 24 revolution per hour because 24 hour it goes 1 revolution. Hence, we can get that the angular speed of the satellite is 1 over 8 revolution per hour, which because 1 revolution is 2 pi radius and 1 hour is 3600 seconds. And we get this final. This answer for the angular speed of the satellite is 2.18 times 10 to the negative 4 radius per second. Okay, so the force between the Earth and the satellite is the gravitational force, which can be calculated by constant g, mass of the Earth times mass of the satellite, divided by the distance between the center of the mass, center of the Earth to the satellite. And this is also a centripetal force, so it's going to equal, be equal to the mass of the satellite times angular speed squared times the radius r. So from this equation, we can express the, the distance from the center of the Earth to the satellite as equal to the constant g times, sorry, this is the mass of the Earth, mass of the Earth. Divide by angular speed squared, and this this whole thing to the one third. Okay, plug in the number, you can know that is equal to two point oh three times ten to the seven meter. Remember, this is a distance between the satellite and the center of the Earth. We still need to minus the radius of the Earth to get the final height is equal to one point three nine to the ten to the seven meter. So for question B, the satellite is moving in the opposite direction, so the relative angular velocity is negative. So we're going to use this equation again to find that the absolute angular velocity of the satellite is negative 7.27 times 10 to the negative 5 radius. We're using exactly the same equation. The only difference is that the relative angular velocity here in question B is negative. So we have this angular speed of the satellite. We we'll plug in this equation we just get here. We we'll plug in it. We can get that the radius in question B is going to be 4.22 times 10 to the 7 meter. And the height is the radius minus the radius of the Earth is going to be 3.59 times 10 to the 7 meter. 